star. Yes. Uh, thank you very much for introduction. And uh, I'd like to thank the organizer for, for giving me a chance to talk here in, in this conference. Uh, <clears throat> this is a <clears throat> joint, joint work with Tetsuhito. So <clears throat> the main, main theme of this, uh, this talk is the relation between uh, local language correspondence and geometry. So I will uh, begin with very brief <clears throat> uh, review of the local language correspondence. So let G, G be a connected reductive group over QP. And uh, I will assume that it is split over QP for simplicity. Then <clears throat> the local Rangland correspondence for G is a conjecture map between, uh, between the set of isomorphism classes of uh, irreducible smooth representations of uh, G, G, QP. Uh, to the set of conjugacy uh, <coughs> classes of L parameters, uh, which is a homomorphism uh, from uh, this group to G hat uh, with, with, with finite fiber. Uh, here, here, this WQP is a value group of QP, uh, which is a slight modification of the absolute Galois group. Uh, it is a locally compact uh, group, uh, which is uh, dense in uh, Gar Gar uh, the absolute Gar group. Uh, and uh, this G hat is so-called the dual group, or the Langland dual group of G over C. So if, if we, we, uh, we drop the assumption of split, uh, splitness, then uh, yeah, yeah. This G hat uh, can change changes to the so-called L group, but, but here here I am assuming that the uh, group is split, so uh, this dual group is enough. So the local Langland correspondence is uh, so the map from uh, so this this is in some sense a local automorphic side, and this this is local Galois side, and there there is a map uh, from uh, automorphic side to Galois side with finite, uh, finite fiber. And the fiber uh, of this, this phi is uh, denoted by uh, pi phi and is called the, uh, the L packet attached to this L parameter. <clears throat> uh, if uh, G is GLN, uh, which is the simplest case, then uh, the dual group of GLN is again GLN. Given C. So the, uh, the, the parameter is just a homomorphism uh, from, from this group to GL and C, uh, namely the n dimensional re representation of this group. And so the condition uh, of L parameters uh, includes that the representation is uh, semi simple. So, uh, and uh, in this case, uh, so the local Langland correspondence for GLN uh, means that there is uh, some correspondence between in the dimensional, uh, so, sorry, the irreducible smooth representations of, of, of GL and QP and the in the dimensional uh, some simple representation of this, this group. Uh, and uh, in, in this case, uh, the local Langland correspondence is known uh, uh, which is first proved by Harrison Taylor, and uh, uh, there is also an alternative, alternative proof by NER and more recently by Schultz. Uh, in this case, uh, so GLNC, uh, the local Langland correspondence of GLN, uh, GLN uh, is very special uh, in, in the sense that the, the every uh, in the GRN case, uh, every L packet is a singleton, namely the fiber of uh, this homomorphism. Uh, so is a singleton. So namely the correspondence, local Langland correspondence, the map uh, be between uh, Galois side to automorphic side is bijective. In this case, it's very special. And if we change uh, this, this G, then, uh, this, this property uh, fails very often. So, 
So how 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 can can we construct the local language correspondence for GL GLN? The local language correspondence for GLN was uh, constructed by by means of periodic geometry, so arithmetic geometry. So I I I I'd like to explain uh, this construction uh, a little bit. So assume for simplicity that the n is equal to two. Uh, so uh, I, I, I want to introduce some periodic geometric object or more precisely uh, rigid analytic space. Uh, to do that, uh, let's first fix uh, E0, uh, which is a super single elliptic curve over FP bar. And uh, uh, let X board, uh, board X uh, be the P, P divisible group attached to the this super single elliptic curve. Then actually this X uh, is one by one dimensional under high two, and it is independent of the choice of this E0. So this, uh, such X is uh, unique up to isomorphisms. So th this is a unique P uh, divisible group, one dimensional P divisible group uh, with uh, so isoclinic of slope one over two. And uh, uh, I will uh, consider the moduli of the formation of this uh, P divisible group. So let, this, let M be the moduli space of the formations, the formations of X uh, over this, this ring. Uh, this, is, uh, this, ring, this ring is a maximal uh, unrefined extension of ZP, uh, the completion of the maximal unrefined extension of uh, ZP. Uh, in other words, this is a ring of bit vectors uh, with coefficients in F, uh, this FP bar. But, but uh, uh, so, uh, so unlike the usual uh, deformation program, uh, I, I will consider the deformation by quasi isolation. So here, here, here is a more precise uh, definition uh, for for ZP and unified hat algebra A, uh, in which P is nilpotent, uh, the set uh, the set of A values points of this modular space is uh, equal to the isomorphism isomorphism classes of uh, this uh, pairs uh, uh, where. where X is a P divisible group over A, and rho is a quasi isogen uh, connecting uh, this. So uh, this, this one, uh, this is the uh, X module P, the reduction module P of this P divisible group. And uh, on, the other, uh, on the other hand, uh, this uh, left hand side is the constant deformation of this X. So, uh, be, 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 because we assume that this A is uh, ZP and Lenfried hat algebra, and uh, if we uh, mod modulate P uh, of this uh, ring, then we will get this FP bar. Uh, so this A over P is FP bar algebra. So uh, we, we can consider the constant deformation of this board X uh, over uh, AP. And uh, this law is a quasi, uh, quasi isogeny connecting uh, these two P, P divisible group over A, A over P. <clears throat> Here, quasi isogeny is something uh, which is formally written as a composite of isogeny and uh, the formal inverse of isogeny. So, so the, the usual modulus, uh, usual deformation program. Uh, uh, in the usual uh, deformation program, we take this law as an isomorphism, but, but here uh, uh, I, I consider quasi isogeny. Mm. <clears throat> then this M is a formal scheme, uh, and uh, it is non canonically isomorphic to the uh, countably many, uh, uh, countably many uh, dissident union of uh, the formal spectrum of this. This uh, ring of uh, <clears throat> formal power says polynomial. Polynomials. 
So this, this index V comes from the degree of this law. So uh, because, because we, we, we can consider the degree of quasi isogeny, uh, which is an uh, integer. So this, this, uh, uh, <coughs> this, uh, this part uh, comes from the uh, uh, quasi isogeny with fixed degree. And then actually, if we assume that the degree of rho is equal to zero, and this A over P is equal to FP bar, then uh, in this particular case, uh, this law uh, becomes automatically an isomorphism. So uh, actually, this, each of these pieces uh, is equal to the universal deformation space of this X uh, in the usual sense. And uh, uh, we, we, we can just uh, consider, uh, we, we can construct this modular space as just taking uh, this union uh, along, along, along the integers. Uh, this is a yes, deformation modular space. And uh, uh, so th this is an object over this ZP hat, and uh, ZP unlimited hat. And the next, I, I already take the rigid genetic fiber of this formal scheme. Uh, so then, then uh, we, we get the one-dimensional rigid space over QP and unified hat. So, uh, so be, 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 because the rigid genetic fiber of this uh, formal scheme is uh, so what so open open disk uh, over QP and unified hat. So this M is a countably many distinct union of uh, open unit disk. So this, this is a very easy uh, region analytic space. But uh, by, by using uh, the level structure of the universal P divisible group over this M, uh, we can construct a very interesting uh, tower of region analytic space or over this M. This is a local analog of a tower of modular curve. Then uh, we, we have we have in, interesting uh, group actions on this uh, tower of regional native space. The first is the uh, action of GL two QP. Uh, this is a, a precisely a local analog of a Hecke action uh, of uh, of GL two finite order on modular curve. Mm. On the other hand, uh, uh, th there's an, another action with the group JQP. Uh, this, this is by definition a group of self quasi isogenies of this X. Mm. Uh, th th this is a non trivial inner form of, of GL2QP. Uh, this corresponds to the fact that uh, uh, endomo endomorphism, uh, so endomorphism algebra of this. This, uh, this uh, so, let's, so, so sorry, uh, the endomorphism algebra of this E zero uh, ten, tensor QP is isomorphic to the uni unique quaternion division algebra over QP. Okay, and uh, so how, how how this group acts on this modular space? So the, uh, the action of this JQP on this tower come comes from the action of, of, on this row. So uh, so, recall that the, this law is a quasi isogeny uh, con connecting uh, with this one and this one. And uh, JQP is a self hook quasi isogeny group of this X. So, uh, we, we, we can compose an element of J uh, like, like this. Uh, then, so then, then we, we, we get the action of JQP on the, this. Modular space. Uh, this this is a uh, this is a particular action uh, for local this, this local object, and there there's no analog uh, for modular curve. Okay. Now now uh, I'd, I'd like to consider the erratic cohomology of this uh, region analytic tower. So let, let's fix a prime prime number L, which is not equal to P. And we we'll fix an isomorphism uh, QL bar and C, and we, we identify these two groups. And uh, 
Let, let's consider the cohomology group, erratic cohomology, compactly supported erratic cohomology group of this term. Namely, uh, we, we, we take uh, uh, erratic, compactly supported erratic cohomology of this MK and take an inductive limit with respect to K. So I, I, I forgot to uh, mention that uh, th this tower is called the Rubin Tate Tower uh, because uh, th this is a natural extension of the uh, classical Rubin Tate theory uh, to uh, GLN case. So if, if n is equal to one, then uh, this, this MK is just a Rubin Tate Tower, or uh, in, in this case, a cyclotomic tower over QP and Reinhardt hat. <coughs> Uh, okay, so uh, so we, we get the erratic homology HI Rubin Tate, uh, and uh, these, these two actions uh, give an action of GL2 QP cross JQP on this uh, erratic homology, and uh, so uh, we, we have one more group action, uh, we have Galois action, uh, or more more precisely the action of the Bayou group on this limited space. And this is mainly because uh, this action comes from the, so be, uh, be, base, change, uh, base change here. But, but the, yes, actually the absolute Garo group of QP and then by the heart is the isomorphic uh, inertia group of QP. Uh, but what we, we, we can extend the action uh, of this inertia group to the Bay group. So we, 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 we get the uh, we, we get the uh, representation of the product of these three groups. And uh, by decomposing uh, this action, uh, we, we can get the uh, Langlands correspondence for GL2. So this, this is the theorem uh, which is proved by Turing and Karayoru. Uh, right, right to Maybe the supercaspian representation. Uh, here, uh, in this talk, I will I, I will write SC for supercaspian uh, for short. So let pi be a supercaspian representation of GL, GL2 QP, and let the law uh, be uh, be the representation of JQP. So so this 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 law is a representation of representation of JQP. JQP. And uh, this sigma is a local Langland, a local Langland image of pi. So this is a, a two dimensional representation of QP, uh, double QP. So, so this is the rep representation of double QP. And uh, we, we uh, take, take a low, low isotypic part of this cohomology. So, so, so sorry, I, 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 uh, this is a typo. This is equal to I. Mm. Then, uh, so, the, the, uh, so the, this is a low isotypic part. In, in some sense, a low isotypic part of this cohomology. Uh, so we, we, we take a homomorphism between, uh, between this and this. Then we, we get a representation of uh, GL2QP plus uh, WQP. And uh, this, so, so be, be, be because uh, this, this group, uh, the action of GL2QP is not necessarily smooth. So we, we take a smooth part of this homomorphism. Then we, we get a, a smooth representation of GL2QP uh, cross and uh, continuous representation of WQP. Then it, it decomposes as a, as a <clears throat> tensor product of uh, this pi and uh, this sigma twisted by one over two, if i is equal to one, and uh, i is not equal to one, it, it is equal to zero. Mm. So, so this, uh, actually this theorem will give the con uh, construction of local Langlands correspondence for supercaspial uh, representation. So if, if we pick uh, this pi and uh, this low and uh, take low isotypic part, then uh, the local Langlands correspondence appears here. 
So uh, actually, the proof of local Langlands correspondence uh, if, if, so is given by first defining the uh, local Langlands correspondence by this manner. And uh, after that, uh, pro proving uh, that the correspondence satisfies uh, nice properties. And, the, uh, and uh, I already I mentioned that uh, this theorem comes from the me uh, so geometric meaning of this Rubin-Tet tower. Actually, the proof, proof of this theorem uses the relation be between the tower, uh, relation between this tower, Rubin-Tet tower, and the tower of modular class. So, so this relation means that the formal completion of the modular curve uh, along its super singular locus is, can, can be uniformized by this, mod, uh, this, this end. Uh, this, this is the modular space of for the isogenes. So the super singular locus of the modular curve is strongly related to the rubin tower. And the, on the other hand, the ordinary locus is geometrically induced uh, by, by the well-known uh, argument. And the cohomology of modular curve is uh, known to be uh, described by using the global Langlands correspondence for GL2. So uh, by, by using these parts, uh, we get uh, this, this theorem. Hmm. This, this is a story for GL2. And the, yes, in the proof for GLN is uh, 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 general, generalization of this result. So in, in this talk, uh, I, I'd like to uh, extend the, this theorem to GSP4 case. So, in this case, uh, in the GSP4 case, uh, the local Langlands correspondence is already is, uh, established by Gan and Takeda. Uh, they, they proved by, by using the uh, automorphic or representational theoretic method, and uh, no geometry is needed. Uh, they, they reduced the uh, local Langlands correspondence for G GSP4 uh, to the local Langlands correspondence for GL2 and GL4. But uh, I am still interested in the relation uh, between local Langlands correspondence and the geometry in GSP4 case. Uh, so, uh, yes, for, from now on, I, I will write G for GSP4 uh, for simplicity. Uh, okay. So the, the definition, so in this case, the analog of the rubin uh, tether space or uh, the rubin tether tower is, the, is called the Rapporting space, and the definition of it is uh, similar to the GS, GL2 case. So for first, let's fix the uh, super singular abelian surface uh, and its uh, principal polarization. And let uh, x and lambda x is a divisible group attached to this object. So th this x is a uh, two-dimensional divisible group, and lambda x is uh, an isomorphism uh, between x and x dual. And uh, let m be uh, the modular space of deformations by quasi-isogeny of this, this object. Now, now, now we consider the deformation of a polarized uh, divisible group. So we we we, uh, we, we take uh, the uh, polarization into account. In this case, the situ uh, situation is a little bit uh, difficult uh, because the di uh, dimension of the underlying space of this modular space uh, is uh, one. So the, in the rubin tet case, the uh, underlying space of the, this modular space is uh, after discrete uh, zero dimensional, but in this case, uh, the underlying space is one dimensional. <clears throat> mm. So yes, the, 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 this, this means that uh, the, there is a, a deformation, <clears throat> so, so sorry, the self quasi isogeny of uh, this, this object, uh, which is degree zero and which is not isom uh, an isomorphism. 
<coughs> and uh, let M be uh, the rigid chain fiber of this, uh, uh, this formal scheme. Then this, this M is three dimensional, three dimensional. Uh, <coughs> uh, actually, this M is a local analog of uh, the Gigel uh, threefold, so it is natural that the uh, dimension is three. And uh, we, we can consider the tower of rigid, rigid spaces over QP and I part, this, this MK. This is the local analog of uh, the tower of Jigel modulus reforms. Then we have uh, an axiom of two groups, uh, G and J. And uh, in this case, this, this JQP is a uh, non trivial inner form of JQP. Uh, th th this is a quad quaternion unitary group uh, of degree two. Hmm. And uh, uh, I, I, I can define the erratic compactly supported erratic cohomology of this tower uh, by, by the same method. Then uh, the, uh, this is a representation of the product of these three groups. And uh, I'd like to uh, give a decomposition of it, <clears throat> the composition of this, this cohomology uh, as a representation of these three groups. <clears throat> uh, this, this, is, this is a situation for local Langlands correspondence. The local Langlands correspondence for GL, G, 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 GQP or GSP4QP is uh, due to Gan Takeda, as I, as I mentioned. And uh, the local Langlands correspondence for the uh, inner form of it is due to Gan, Gan Tantono. <coughs> mm. So I, 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 will, I will use the, this result uh, freely. Mm. So, the, so yes. <coughs> so in, in this case, the uh, parameter of uh, G uh, or, or J uh, even a uh, homomorphism uh, fro from this uh, Bayou Dream group uh, to the dual, dual group of G, G uh, which is uh, in this case uh, G, G spin 5, and uh, it, it is accidentally uh, isomorphic to GSP 4C. Mm. And uh, to, to, to this L parameter, uh, uh, one can attach the L packet for G. Uh, denoted by uh, pi, pi phi g and the L packet of for j, uh, which, which is denoted by uh, pi phi j. Hmm. Okay. And here, here uh, now we we need to assume that. So sorry, I, I forgot to write phi phi, phi here. So let, let's assume that uh, this, this uh, pi phi g uh, contains a supercapacitor representation. Uh, this, this is a technical assumption. Then uh, th there are four cases. So we, we, we can divide the, we, we can classify uh, this L parameter. <clears throat> so according to the number of, L packets and the number number of supercapacitor representation on in, in each uh, L packets. So uh, the the type one case uh, is, is a simplest simplest case. Uh, in this case, uh, this this uh, uh, these L packets are singletons, and the supercapacitor representation the number of supercapacitor uh, so. We, we assume that uh, this, this uh, uh, contains the supercapacitor representation, uh, this is equal to one. And in, in that case, uh, this, this pi, uh, pi, pi phi j uh, consists of one supercapacitor representation. And the second case is, uh, yes, and uh, th this case, uh, case is the uh, endoscopic case, cases. And the second case uh, is uh, both L packets. Uh, consists of two uh, supercapacitor representations. The, and the third case is that, uh, uh, so this, yes, 
so the, the, so yes, the, the, this case is a case uh, where the supercaspian representation uh, appears in uh, this uh, L packet for J. And uh, the, uh, the fourth case is that uh, there is no supercaspian representation for e in pi pi J. In, in this case, uh, I, I'd like to focus on the case three. Uh, th this is because the case one and the case two are easier, uh, and the case four is, uh, sh sh should be treated uh, by the same method as case three. <coughs> so what, what is the shape of the L parameter in, uh, in case three? So let, let to R be an, the natural embedding uh, of GSP4, four, GSP4C to G, GL4C. Then the, uh, the composite of this phi and uh, this embedding uh, can be uh, regarded as a four-dimensional representation of this WQP cross SL2C. And uh, if we are in the case three, then this representation is equal to the sum of two, two, two dimensional representations, uh, where, where this phi, phi zero is a two dimensional irreducible representation of the value group, and this chi is a character of the value group. And th this STD is the standard representation of SL2C. So this is a, this is a two dimensional irreducible representation of the value during group, and uh, this, this parameter regarded as uh, four-dimensional representation, the direct sum of these two rep uh, leadership representations. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. So, uh, so th this is uh, so the shape of the L parameter phi. And uh, ne next I'd like to explain the shape of L packets for G and J. So L packet for G, G consists of uh, two, two irreducible representations, as I mentioned. And uh, pi pi SC is a unique uh, supercaspian representation in pi G, uh, which is, in this case, automatically non-generic. Namely, there's a no Huitaka model for, for this pi SC. And uh, the other representation, is a generic non supercaspian disk to series representation, which uh, I write pi disk. Mm. On, the, on the other hand, uh, pi pi j uh, also in, uh, contains a supercaspian representation, which is denoted by uh, rho sc. Uh, this, this is a supercaspian representation. And uh, there's another representation, which is non supercaspial discrete series. J, J is not, uh, not, not quite split, so we, we cannot uh, say that uh, these, these are generic one non generic. <clears throat> and here, uh, I, I need a technical assumption that the determinant of this two dimensional uh, Garou representation is trivial. And uh, this chi is uh, degree two at uh, order, uh, order two character, quadratic character. Mm. So this, this uh, assumption com comes from the fact that so what? We, we, we need the other classification uh, for GSP4 and its inner form. The other classification of uh, G GSP4 is uh, established by uh, G, G and Tai B, but uh, other classification of its inner form is, uh, as far as I know, still open. So I need to assume that the central character uh, of these representations are trivial. Then, uh, in this case, this, this J, JQP, the adjoint group of this one is isomorphic to some uh, orthogonal group, SO5. So, so I can apply the some uh, results on, on that space and uh, on that group. Mm. And uh, I, 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 I also uh, make no, no, note that uh, the, these conditions imply that the image of this L, L parameter is include, included in SP4C, 
which is a dual group of P PGSP4. So the central character of these, these representations uh, are trivial. <clears throat> and I, I need to introduce uh, another stuff, uh, the A packet uh, attached to a, a parameter. A, a parameter is a slight uh, variant of uh, L, pa L, pa L parameters, uh, namely it is a homo some homomorphisms uh, from uh, WQP cross SL SL2 Q SL2C cross SL2C. We have uh, two SL2C factors. Uh, two, uh, this is G hat, <coughs> two, two G hat. Mm. Uh, this is a parameter, and here uh, I, I will consider a very particular a parameter which is strongly related to this uh, phi. N namely, so we, we have uh, this phi, so this phi uh, by, by extending uh, trivially on this uh, second SL2 factor, and uh, uh, by, by, compo uh, by composing the uh, map uh, Swapping these two SL2 factors and this phi, uh, we, we get, uh, we get uh, a parameter phi, uh, a, a parameter psi. And to, to, uh, to this a parameter psi, we, we can attach uh, local a packets of G and J, respectively. And I will write uh, pi, pi psi G and pi psi J for, for them. Then uh, the sh shape of a packet uh, as, mm, as follows. Uh, pi pi psi g consists of two two elements. Uh, this pi s g is the same as uh, this pi s g. So this a packet and this a packet uh, share share the supercaspian representation. Uh, on the other hand, the other representation is non-tempered, and uh, uh, this, this is not equal to this pi disk. On the other hand, the, the a packet uh, for J consists of uh, two two elements. Uh, one, one is supercaspial and one is non-tempered. And uh, this pi low SG prime is uh, strongly expected to equal to uh, this uh, pi SC. But what I, I need, uh, I don't need uh, this, this fact. And yes, and uh, as I mentioned, pi, pi, low, low non-tempered is a non-tempered representation. So th this is a setting, and now I can explain our main theorem. So let uh, so for for an irreducible representation low of G, uh, JQP, uh, we, we consider the extension group. So this is a deri derived version of the isotypic part. So in the Rubin-Tet case, we, we consider the home space, but, but here we, 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 all, we, we should also consider the higher X group uh, be between this uh, cohomology group and this uh, irreducible smooth representation with the QP. Uh, th this representation is uh, not necessary so th this is a representation of uh, GQP cross the Bayou group, uh, but, but uh, this is not, not necessarily a smooth representation of G GQP. So we, we take uh, some smooth part of this, uh, this extension group. This is uh, a smooth part uh, slightly different to the uh, usual definition. Uh, this definition uses uh, distribution with compact support, the ring of distribution with uh, compact support. But, but if j is equal to zero, then uh, it equals equal the, the original uh, smooth part. Uh, so so you, yes, you, you get smooth part. And uh, this SC uh, means uh, G, uh, GQP supercaspial part of this group. So we, we uh, concentrate on the uh, supercaspial representations appeared in this de derived, uh, derived uh, isotypic part. Mm. And uh, this, this JQP uh, has a split semi-simple rank one. Uh, 
And uh, this, this fact uh, implies that uh, this cohomology, uh, this, this, this extension group vanishes uh, unless j is equal to zero and one. And uh, here, here is the uh, main theorem. Uh, yes, uh, this, this main theorem uh, says that uh, we, we can completely determine this uh, extension group uh, wh when rho belongs to, belong to uh, pi, pi pi j or pi psi j. So there, there, there's uh, four, four candidates. So there's four candidates, uh, row SC and row prime SC and row disk and row NT. So if, if uh, we take a row, row SC isotype part of uh, this uh, cohomology, then uh, pi SC uh, undertake the supercuspial part. Then, uh, so uh, this, this notation uh, includes supercuspial part. Uh, please uh, take care of that. <clears throat> then, then pi sc and pi uh, phi, phi zero appears in the middle degree cohomology, and uh, uh, the the other uh, degrees bunch. Uh, bunch. Mm. On the other hand, uh, yes, the fast, uh, fast extension bunches in this uh, in the uh, low, low sc case. And uh, similar for low prime, low prime SC case. And the second is the case of, uh, of low disk. In this case, uh, the uh, hom home space is uh, uh, yeah, isomorphic to the tensor product of pi SC and chi. Uh, so please recall that uh, this, uh, this phi zero and chi appears as a irreducible, uh, irreducible component of uh, this, this composite. Hmm. And uh, the supercuspial representation only appears in the middle degree. In this case, the uh, first extension uh, also appears. Uh, in this case, uh, uh, pi, pi, uh, if i is equal to 4, then uh, it is the tensor product of uh, pi sc and chi uh, twisted by two. And uh, if i is not equal to uh, four, uh, four the, then the next group, extension group vanishes. The third case is a non-tempered case. In this, in this case, this case is uh, inter, in, interesting be, 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 uh, because there, there's something uh, outside the middle degree. If i is equal to four, <clears throat> then uh, this, this this home space is isomorphic to the tensor product of pi sc and uh, this chi. So these are very similar, but the degree is different. And the uh, first extension group uh, can can be described uh, like like this. So. So roughly, roughly speaking, uh, if we, we, uh, we consider the discrete uh, L packet, then uh, local Langlands correspondence or a piece of local Langlands correspondence like phi zero or chi appears in the mid middle degree of the cohomology of the Rapport space. Uh, but but uh, if we consider an A packet, then uh, so something happens outside the mi middle degree. Uh, th this is the main theorem. And uh, uh, here, here is the remark. Uh, so by, by working in the su uh, su suitable derived category, uh, uh, we, we may also consider the derived version of the, uh, this extension group. So, uh, so in the definition of this one, uh, we, we consider the cohomology group here, but uh, we can replace this cohomology group by uh, this derived uh, complex. And we, we can consider the hyper extension of uh, this, this homology and uh, this representation. But by using this, uh, this, repre uh, this representation, we can uh, recover uh, this L parameter and this A parameter uh, from the Bay group action and the left shift operator uh, on uh, this 
this, uh, this group and this, uh, this representation, this representation, respect, respectively. Uh, so in, in the GLN case, there's a work by that uh, on this, uh, along this line. And uh, yes, this, this, this is that generalization of his, his result to GSP4 case. So, so roughly, roughly speaking, the uh, to two SL2 factors of a, para, uh, a packet appears. So, a, so a packet is a homomorphism between this and this. And uh, so this, this first SL2C factor comes from the monodromy operator on the cohomology, and the second part comes from the left hit operator on, on the cohomology. Okay. So th this is the remark. So in the remaining time, uh, a part of this talk, I, I will uh, explain an uh, idea of the proof of the main theorem. So very rough idea is the uh, exchange of GL2 case, uh, use the relation between the tower of Laporte's space and the Jigel report. So let SHK K prime, uh, is a moduli of principally polarized abelian surfaces plus some level, level structure. And uh, I, I will take a uh, cohomology of the tower. In, uh, this is the representation of GSP for finite Adele across the absolute Garo group. And uh, it, it is rather understand, understood by using the uh, global Langland correspondence for G. And uh, I, I'd like to combine uh, the cohomology of this. I, I'd like to relate the cohomology of uh, this local object and this global object. Uh, this is done by a uh, Hoho field cell spectral sequence, uh, which is due to Roland Falk. Uh, this is a uh, so spectral sequence like that. <clears throat> uh, the E2 term. Uh, is the uh, extension group of uh, the cohomology of Laporte's space, and uh, this, this is the space of automorphic forms on the on J. Uh, the, the, uh, I only defined uh, J as the uh, object of a QP, but uh, by, by using the fi fixed pair, a fixed polarized Abelian surface, but by taking a quasi-isogeny group of of this, uh, this polarized Abelian uh, surface, we, we can define this J. And this is the space of automorphic forms on J.A., which is trivial at infinity. So one, one, is, one means that uh, trivial, at, uh, in, uh, trivial at infinity. And the, yeah, so th this is the cohomology of the super, sing super singular reduction locus. Uh, of the Jigels report. Uh, th this is the rigid analytic open subset of the Jigels report over QP corresponding to Abelian surfaces uh, with good super singular reduction. So th this comes from the fact that the uh, com formal completion of the Jigels report along its uh, super singular locus is isomorphic to the reporting space M. And this is precisely uh, generalization. Uh, the, the proof of the uh, theorem of Durin and Carrier. And uh, here we, we take a supercaspial part. And uh, this, this cohomology, supercaspial cohomology, is actually isomorphic to the cohomology of compact, uh, compactly supported cohomology of the similar variety. Uh, this, this is because, uh, because of the Boyer's trick, uh, which, which means that. Uh, Non super singular look, uh, non, su non super singular part is geometrically induced. Uh, th this is uh, only only to do for GSP four case and uh, it fails uh, for GS GSP six case, for example. And uh, so, but by using that, uh, we, we can prove that the super cuspidal part of this cohomology is isomorphic to the super super cuspidal part of the cohomology of nearby cycle. And uh, by, by using uh, uh, Imai and myself, or uh, Lan, Lan and Stro, uh, which is stronger than uh, our result, uh, 
it, it is isomorphic to the compact uh, supercuspular part of the compact with supported convex. Actually, we, 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 we proved that the supercuspular part of the nearby, uh, nearby cycle cohomology and the compactly supported cohomology are the same. But, but uh, they, they proved that, uh, they proved that uh, these two cohomologies are isomorphic before taking supercuspular part. Okay. And here, here is a more precise idea. Uh, so uh, I think actually the non-tempered uh, problem is easier than the disk, uh, so low, low disk uh, problem. So we, 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 we first uh, prove the, we, we first determine this cohomology group by, by using global method. So we, we choose two, two uh, automorphic representations. Uh, pi, is a, uh, pi is a cuspular represent, uh, automorphic representation of GA, and sigma is a cuspular re automorphic representation of JA, such that uh, pi at P is isomorphic to pi, pi SC, and the pi infinity con contributes to uh, the, these two cohomology groups. Uh, so the, the, this, is, this is a classical, low, uh, classical site of Prokawa representation, uh, which is a very, uh, which is famous because uh, it, it, it uh, doesn't satisfy the Ramanujan conjecture. So th these uh, cohomologies outside the middle degree, so it is, uh, so, so su such a representation uh, should not satisfy the Ramanujan conjecture. And uh, under uh, this condition, uh, this uh, pi infinity contribute to, to this cohomology, cohomology uh, is a condition at infinity. So uh, condition at pi infinity Be because uh, so the, so yes, the supercuspular part of the, these two two groups can can be identified with the intersection cohomology, and the intersection cohomology can be uh, described by using the real algebra cohomology of pi. pi at infinity. And the second uh, property is important. Uh, if pi, pi prime is another automorphic representation of GA, such that uh, pi and pi prime are isomorphic outside of P and infinity, and pi prime P is supercuspular, then pi and pi are equal. Uh, th this is a kind of strong, uh, strong multiplicity one. Of course, the stronger multiplicity one fails for GSP4, but, but, but by using theta, lift, uh, theta lifting, uh, I, I can, uh, we, we can construct this uh, such, such file. And the sigma is the uh, uh, JJ counterpart of uh, this pi. Uh, pi P is uh, pi and T, and uh, pi infinity is trivial. And uh, uh, sigma, sigma prime satisfies a similar condition as uh, pi. And the pi and the sigma are isomorphic uh, outside of infinity and the p. So uh, in this case, it, it is known that the g and the j are isomorphic outside of infinity and the p. Uh, so so we, we can identify the group, the, these two groups. OK. So, so let, let's take a pi, pi infinity p as typic part of this, this spectral sequence, this spectral sequence. So then, then uh, uh, so be, be, be because this, this extension group vanishes uh, unless R is zero and one, and uh, by, by using the strong multiplicity one property, uh, we get uh, such an exact sequence. And uh, by, by assumption, the, the, the middle, uh, middle uh, term uh, vanishes uh, unless pi is equal to two and four. So we, we need to determine, uh, so the, the figure that sequence uh, when, when i is two and four. Hmm. On the other hand, uh, so we, we, ha we have uh, two, two, two uh, technical results. The, the first, first line is proved by uh, Ito and myself uh, ten, 10 years ago. Uh, <clears throat> so the supercuspular part of the disk homology vanishes uh, outside the degree two and three and four. And the second part is uh, that uh, proved by my, myself that uh, 
the supercaspial part, G, G supercaspial part of the rapporting space uh, doesn't con uh, contain uh, JQP non supercaspial sub quotient by using the relation uh, or be between rapporting space and the Zerbinski involution. Then we, we get the vanishing of uh, the, these two groups. So if, if I is equal to two, then uh, th this is the fourth for cohomology of the uh, similar variety, and uh, th this vanishes. So this this one and this one are isomorphic. And we, we know this, this cohomology group by global Langland, so we, we, we can determine the, this cohomology. Uh, the, the case uh, I is equal to two are similar by, by using this one. Uh, this, this concludes the proof, proof of this, the three. Hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. M m m maybe maybe I I have, I, ha I have uh, no time. Yeah, only no time. Almost. <laughs> I, I, I agree. So so yeah. yes. Uh, then I I will uh, quick, quickly explain the uh, proof of the second part. Uh, the, the idea is to use three. So yes, actually the uh, sum of the low non-tempered and low disk is equal to the, uh, actually this is induced. And uh, we, uh, we, we know that the Euler uh, Poincare characteristic of the induced representation is equal to zero. Uh, but by using uh, that, uh, we, we can determine. Uh, so the, yes, one, one number, uh, so, uh, so sorry, the, yes, uh, th these two groups are one dimensional. Uh, but, and the key, key, result, key result is that the, uh, some co uh, cohomology group related to uh, rapporting space is finite ranks uh, as a representation of JQP. And the first, is, first part is the simplest uh, because uh, no, exten no higher extension group for supercapital representation. Uh, yes, <laughs> that's all. Uh, thank you very much. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Thank, you. thank you very much. Yeah. So, uh, okay. So, 